this is a demo of uh, one of the older versions of the hybrid. Uh, basically how it works is you've got the, the yellow box here which tracks the location of the wheel. Uh, the, the blue box tracks uh, tracks the ball as it goes past and the green box uh, tracks the, the green zero as it goes past. Uh, this is an older version though, it's, um, it's, uh, it's only got limited functionality but it can still track live spins. So basically how it works, you can see the tracking here. Okay, so what we can do is it you can't see the bottom part of it. I can increase the sensitivity of the ball uh, detection. Okay, now the raw timings shows individual detections. Now this is set to give a uh, maximum of uh, two detections per pass. As we can see, we're getting that here. And this is just for the ball. And these are used to calculate these timings here. So if we repeat it, we should get much the same. Pretty close. Uh, in the latest version, we, we use, uh, we get multiple timings. Uh, what happens is we can track a broader area. Uh, we can average the the, uh, the movement that goes across, and we can get it down to about uh, one millisecond accuracy, which is uh, which is basically as good as it gets. Uh, same thing done for the rotor. So I just got to calibrate it, and for that I just uh, wait for the green to be in the area, select the color, uh, the rest of it. Yeah, I'll start that from the beginning. Okay, so the rotor timing as it goes around. That's basically it.